vlog tomorrow, but I thought I'd start today because I have just been to Rebel Sport. Uh, I'm not sure if you're familiar with Rebel Sport, but it's a big sporting goods store here in Australia. And I just got the steal of a century. I had to go and buy some monkey butt pants for my Peloton. If you haven't heard, if I don't shut up about it already, um, it arrives tomorrow and I want to use it. And I'm so paranoid about pains. And then I started Googling uh, the pains and what causes them. And there's some pretty significant kinds of injuries you can get from having like compression on that part of your body. So I got my monkey butt pants. Uh, I got a couple of singlets and a low impact sport bra because I don't need to have one of those kind of compression sports bras that makes you feel like you can't breathe um, on the bike and what else did I get a long pair of tights another pair of black tights I got all of that for $195 which I thought was really good and I the brands that I bought were primarily Under Armour Adidas and a new one called Evo and Moo that I'd not heard of before I think it's called that if it's not called that it's something like it um, so now I am on my way to the shopping center because today I've had a very busy cleaning organizing day and I've still got a lot more to do I had lots and lots of things that we had kept like Lego boxes of Lego that we would constructed that's in my husband's office that we're not going to dismantle and you know get rid of and so there's no point keeping these boxes with a couple of whether they're spare parts or whether they're missing parts who knows it's too late now they're in the bin um, cleaning out old and broken photo frames and just pulling the photos out and throwing the frames away like just stuff that gets put in a box and forgotten about and there's a lot more I feel like I could get a full builder's skip bin like a construction waste bin and pop it out the front and just fill it up there's lots of things there's also lots of things that I've got to sell there's a man literally I think he's just done a pee in the car park that's revolting okay excellent I didn't know we were in Paris right now um so yes I I will eventually that will happen so I am at the big shopping center now and I'm going to trade in my old iPhone. This one is an iPhone XS, XS Max. I don't think they need the box and everything, but I'm just gonna take it anyway. Uh, and I'm going to get myself an iPhone 13 Pro, but I don't think I'm gonna get the Max. Um, it's the, it's the eternal struggle of the handbag lover. Uh, <laughs> is the mini was just too small. And um, so that's gone. I, I mean, with nails like these, like these are not even long nails, but I just could not, I just kept making so many mistakes. It drove me crazy. So I'm not interested in um, going with a teeny tiny phone again. But I also want to kind of size down a little bit because I don't think I need um, the max size as much as I love the max size. Anyway, my plan is that I'm getting a pro. I may get a max. Who knows? We'll see what happens in there. And I'm also going to get one of the Belkin whiz bang charging docks, the wireless charging docks so that I can put my AirPods my Apple Watch and my phone just late resting on the dock and I'll get one for Mr. Addiction too. So that's the plan. Um, I've also got to go to Mecca and get some more moisturizer. Um, I'm not sure if they stock my moisturizer here so I may need to go into the city or order online. And Too Faced have just released a new cinnamon swirl palette that looks beautiful. It's got all the colors that I love. So purples and browns and neutrals um, on my green eyes so I might go and have a little squeeze at that one too all right time to mask up
my god, I was just at the Apple shop buying my phone and my button was undone and the Apple guy did not tell me, obviously. How embarrassing. Well, it is pretty dead in here. Um, all the stores are open but there's not many people around. I feel sorry for them, it must be really slow going. It's going to be the death of retail, this pandemic, that's for sure. So I got my phone, I got a supercharger uh, and a docking station for Mr. Addiction and a pallet, <laughs> which I'll show you when I get home, and a couple of bits. Hopefully our holiday doesn't get cancelled. We were going to a show on Friday night, um, called An American in Paris, and I just got a message to say that that show has been cancelled because the cast have come down with COVID, so it can't be helped. Um, yeah, it's really sad though. Uh, I feel sorry for the arts industry as well. So we'll see if we can rebook. Oh, a camera shop, maybe I should go in. So technically I just saved a thousand dollars and some. I don't think I need to buy a camera. I think my iPhone's just fine and my microphone. So I'm going to stick with that so far. I just received the nicest Instagram DM. Somebody just discovered my channel and saw my messed up vlog yesterday and sent me a message saying thanks for keeping it real, which I really appreciate. Um, it takes a certain amount of vulnerability to do vlogging, I think, and show your real self. And I can tell you when you edit those videos, sometimes you think, should I be publishing this? Ooh. Hydration. Oh, that's good. Alright, I'll do a quick unboxing for you and then I'm going to go for a walk and then I'm going to see you tomorrow for the Peloton delivery. So, Rebel Sport, um, as I was talking to you guys about, I got a pair of tights from the brand... L and Vu, not Evo and Moo. <laughs> anyway, I've not tried them before. So I'll try those and see how they go and then do a little purchases review perhaps later on. I got an Adidas singlet. I got a Under Armour favorite color singlet. Um, I got a sports bra in, un, from Under Armour in that lilac, have you noticed? And I got the monkey butt pants. These ones are not as bad as the ones that I have seen before. They look like they've actually got a bike seat inside of them. So I feel like these will probably be okay. Like they're not, it's not really thick, but it feels thick when it's on. Like it feels like high school in the 90s in the early 90s <laughs> and that's all I'm going to say about that. Look how flushed I am. It's so hot. Then, um, whoops. oopsies, and I've got my delivery from Adore Beauty. I'm just trying to find how I open that and I think this is, oh, comes in another bag. Okay. Um, my Olaplex shampoo and conditioner. Yes, I got this pack where you got the number four shampoo, the number five conditioner, and the number three um, treatment for, I think, $85. And the samples I got were from Kerastase. I don't know what that is. And Lancome Genifique. Genifique. 
and ooh, some teeth whitening strips. That's exciting. And a Tim Tam, which is a bit melted. So we'll we'll pass on that one. Um, let's just stick with the beauty stuff. Stick with the beauty stuff, shall we? God, I look a mess. Look at me. Woo! Um, from Mecca. I talked about Mecca a lot during Vlogmas. And I'll include a little bit of footage in Mecca here while I'm unboxing this. It really is a beautiful experience. It's like the Australian-owned Sephora. It's really lovely. And when I was in Mecca, I purchased not the palette that I went to see because that one was too sparkly, but this Naked 3 palette. And they are all kind of rosy hues. So I'm not going to swatch it now, but... I'll just show it to you because it's really pretty. So I say, I've said it a few times I use a lot of um, purples and browns and my Stiller palette with all the purples is slowly depleting. So I picked up this one and it's got some mattes and some shimmers and it goes purples and browns and some pinky colours. So I think that's really lovely. So I'm excited to try that out. these super fast phone chargers. We've got the old ones, but they just don't pack a punch like these new ones do. And my iPhone 13, I went for the Pro, not the Pro Max this time. Somebody's, uh, you know, trying to decrease the 12 was too small. This one might be just right. And I got it in the gold. And for Mr. Addiction, the Belkin Charging Station. So hopefully he will like that. Uh, from the kiosks in the centre of the shopping centre, I got a couple of phone cases. Um, phone cases are super expensive these days. So I got this one here, which is like a glittery, you can kind of see that it's Silicon on the side, but hard on the back, which is good. So that'll look nice on gold. And I couldn't decide, so I got a um, glass screen cover. And I also got a, gra a glass screen cover for the uh, XS Max that I have got to decide what I'm doing with that. How do you open this thing? And I got this one, which has like a marble through to kind of gold leaf pattern and I thought that would look nice on the gold as well. Um, and <laughs> it's productive. It's a productive day. I got this little linen shorts and like top set um, from Country Road and I'll show you another time. But it's kind of like, you know, that pyjama look where everything matches and it looks like you're wearing pyjamas. Um, and I decided to go for black because black is chic, um, more linen, more people telling me off for looking all crinkly. And I also found this cool jogger fabric denim look skirt. I have these joggers, like in the actual jogger pants, but this is a skirt and this kind of fabric actually really works on my body. For some reason, denim skirts and me, they, we just don't go together. But this was a great find and this was on sale. This was on sale, nothing else was. So that was marked, so it was $69.95 and it was marked down to $49.95. So that's pretty good, I thought. So that's everything. Now I've made a right royal mess. I'm gonna get hydrated, put some active wear on, and go for a walk. I'll see you tomorrow. To I see you tomorrow. I see you tomorrow. <laughs> I did it again. I'll see you tomorrow when it's Peloton time. Good morning. Coming to you from iPhone 13 Pro. Oh, um, nice and clear on my skin, isn't it? So, uh, when I got my Adore Beauty thing yesterday, I got these 
teeth whitening strips. So I'm going to have a go at them. So here's the before. And I won't be able to talk for 30 minutes. So I'm going to try these out and see if there's any comparable difference. Okay, I can talk, but it feels super weird. Can you see them? Okay, 30 minutes. I'm just doing my hair at the moment and my timer went off. And look at this. It actually worked. I did feel a little bit tingly during the process, but it actually worked. I've still got to finish my hair. Actually worked. These little things. Um, wow, talk about an instant pep up. Very happy. Sorry for all the teethy shots. Look at that. That's crazy. I love it. Guess what's here? Do, 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 do. Here I am. I'm addicted to base. Come find me. Okay. Uh, well, that was a whirlwind. It was supposed to be delivered between 12.30 and 2.30. And then at 10 o'clock, I got a text to say I was gonna be here in half an hour. And then next minute the dogs were barking and they were here. So here I am. I've got my Peloton installed. And uh, yeah, I've had the induction. I can clip in and clip out. Uh, I've signed up for the beginners program. Uh, I am going to do my first ride later on this afternoon. I have got the air conditioning on and I've got the fan blowing the air con in my face and it feels really good now, actually a bit cold. So hopefully that's going to be cool enough for my exercise. Uh, going through the induction, I learned to sit back on my butt so it didn't hurt so much, uh, but I do have my monkey butt pants. So yeah, I feel like I'm ready. Um, a couple of things that I got that I'll take you through as well. Okay, so here is the setup. And yes, I will need to pull it away from the wall just a little bit more. They were wearing work boots. Um, so I can stretch my arm out. But yeah, I'm not entirely sure that it's going to stay in this spot. But I do like it being under the air conditioner. So right there. Um, and I had to pull my light fixture up because... <laughs> because I was going to whack my head on it. So anyway, that's where I'm at. And then included, um, we've got, I don't know what's in here, something, a sticker. We've got our shoes, shoe box for me, in, just so I can try them with um, socks on and make sure that they fit. Shoes for Mr. Addiction, some kind of strappy thing for yoga, a lock, which I don't know why I'd use that, a little toolkit and a yoga mat, workout mat thing, which, I, oh, that's really heavy, actually. That's really heavy. Oh, that's a bit different to a mat. Right, and here's my little shoesies. So I am excited to um, do this. I found this bit was easier than I thought. I was a bit worried, but it made perfect sense. So this is gonna be my new home, Mr. Addiction's motorbike helmet collection so down here is kind of like our rumpus laundry area um guest accommodations down the other end but yeah i don't normally bring people down here because it's usually a bit of a mess it also has these cute little weights on it as well which sit in there and these are the heaviest weights i think that you could buy um that's where your water goes <laughs> obviously yeah so I'm really keen to give this a go, do this program and see how it goes and then obviously report back to you guys. So because I'm an absolute nutter, I am going to go and wash this makeup off that I've just put on and I'm going to do my first ride now so that I can have lunch because I've got an appointment later this afternoon and yeah, I want to, I, I won't be able to exercise after it because I'm getting a micro done. So uh i'm gonna do it now so um this will be exciting uh let's see how we go uh if i don't survive you won't ever see this video <laughs> bye so i just did my first ride it was the beginner's ride on the beginner's program with tundi tunda tundi um i liked her she was great it was just 20 minutes working on your form and those sorts of things 
it was good fun. So um, I'm glad I just did it. And I'm gonna try and do that program um, for the next couple of weeks or so and just ease my way into it and get the saddle readiness happening. If you know, you know. And yeah, because I go away for a week in a couple of weeks, I won't be able to stick to the program per se, but I've had some great advice from you guys not to worry about leaderboards and just do things at your own pace. So that's what I'm gonna do. Thank you so much for your support. Remember to hook up and hook up with me. It's addicted to base, booty base. Um, so I, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. I think it will be with Connor. Ciao. Oh, I meant to say, uh, I will do a review on this, but obviously I need time. So I'll, uh, I'll talk you through things in my next vlog. Bye.